Hey again guys and welcome back to Amateur Hour this time. I have traveled a great distance to find somewhere quiet and calm enough to film this video review taking a look at three solar panels uh, one of which I bought from Banggood the other two were provided by Banggood and we're gonna shoot these things out on a rare sunny day here in Kanakistan. I have a load tester over here I am filming all of this on my cell phone so yeah get ready for amateur hour folks but uh, the Sun is going to be in and out of the clouds so I don't know how well this is gonna go but I might as well try all the links are going to be in the description below starting out with this little guy um, this one I bought with my own money it claims to be a 60 watt solar panel, but uh, spoiler alert, I'll tell you it is not a 60 watt solar panel. There's no, not a chance in hell. It comes with a nice little bit of accessories and the price is pretty cheap. So as long as it performs somewhat okay, it should be fine. The output is on the back with this barrel jack and this barrel jack I'm going to plug in to this load tester. And as soon as the sun comes out, we're gonna start testing. While the clouds are in, I just wanted to show you that the open circuit voltage is 20 volts. Actually, that's a lot higher voltage than I had expected. But we'll wait until the clouds come out, see the open circuit voltage, and start applying a load. The sun is out far from ideally, but we're gonna, we need to start here. So here it goes. Start pulling some load. Uh, it's already falling on its face. We're only able to get, uh, oh geez, couple watts here. Got three watts, oh, we got an ant. Yeah, it seems like it's only able to support, oh, five watts. We've got five watts. Try to crank it a little bit higher. Nope. Yeah, this thing is good for maybe a peak of six watts. The sun is out in full, and so I don't, I don't think. Yeah, this thing seems to fall on its face anywhere above 6 watts. Or any, anywhere close to 6 watts, I should say. So, yeah. This one here may be good for a small Arduino project, but I wouldn't push it for anything much more. Next one up is this relatively large, comparatively, at least, uh, 25 watt dealie. Uh, this one here has the same thing, little uh, barrel jack, and it also comes with a USB charger. I didn't bring anything to test the USB capabilities, so I think we're gonna have to pass on that one, but let me hook it up to the load tester and we'll wait for the sun to come out. And with the sun hiding behind the clouds, 18.4 is the open circuit voltage. The sun is only partially obscured. Let's just give it a little test run. Let's see how high we can we can bring it. Oh, we got two, three, four, five watts. Sun's coming out a little bit stronger now. Six watts. Seven. Oh, just just dies down. Just around seven, eight watts. Sun's out much more now. Let's go with the core style a little bit. So we've got seven, eight watts. Sun is out almost in full force now. Yeah, it seems like eight watts is kind of where we're, we're maxing out here. There are clouds partially obscuring, but uh, I don't have much time in between them. So yeah, let's see if we can find a better run. The briefest of opportunities, let's go. Nah, sun's faded again. This isn't easy, I'll tell you. Especially in a place like Canada where it's not like California, the sun doesn't shine all the time. Okay, we've got a non-ideal shot at it. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna go with the um, coarse pot first. Ooh, we're almost at 10 watts. Let's move it up. Oh, no, nine, 
nope it just doesn't want it seems like we might max out around 10 watts Can't get more than 10 watts out of this guy. Let's see if I adjust the angle of the panel a little bit. Prop it up a bit. Let's see if we can get more than 10 watts. You know, it just won't go. The sun is pretty much at its maximum right now. I can't seem to pull more than 10 watts before the panel falls on its face. Oops. Full sun. Yeah, it seems. Oh, I got a spot of 12 watts there. Let's go carefully, carefully. No. Yeah, it looks like max out about half the capacity. The sun is out in full now, so I need to go take out and take a look at the other one. Time for the big boy now, 100 watt claimed solar panel. This is a uh, it only has MC4s, so this is a, uh, you know, the most professional of the panels, 21 volts open circuit voltage, and we will start cranking 15 20 22 watts. And the voltage still holding, 24, 30 watts. This one is the most promising yet. Look at that, 36, 38. So now we can move this up to, oh, 44 watts. Here it goes. Yeah, voltage starting to fall now. About 43, about 43 watts. Seems to be as high as I can go. Voltage is tanking now. We got three amps of current coming through these uh, 14 gauge wires. They're still ice cold, connections are ice cold, but yet we're pulling 45 watts. Let's see if we can bump it up just a little bit more. Oh, 38, no. No, it seems like that'll be our very max. Let me just check the sun. The sun is uh, partially obscured, but not a lot. The panel might not be at the ideal angle. I'm gonna move it a little bit. And we lost voltage like that. I'm gonna move it again. Oh, 50 watts. We've got 50 watts at this angle. Here we go. Are we gonna push higher than 50 watts? No, I think that's it. 50 watts is pretty much the max. Well, that's not bad though. I mean, it's Canada here, so uh, we don't have ideal sunshine, and these things seem to perform just fine. I would never ever um, take the word for a solar panel manufacturer uh, about their wattage ratings, but uh, yeah, about half seems to be the trend for non-ideal positioning and non-ideal sun. In a future video though, we're gonna to try to squeeze a little bit more out of these panels using an MPPT controller. I hope you'll stick around for that.